Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 6, subject general science, chapter 9, the living organisms, characteristics and habitats, part 1. Now by now you all have your textbooks with you. I request you to go to page number 79. So today in this chapter, we'll be learning about the living organisms, their characteristics and the habitats. Habitats means in small, in simple words, it is nothing but uh, the place where these animals live, animals or different organisms where they live. So I'm reading out from page number 79. Paheli and Bojo went to vacation to many places of interest. One of such trip took them to the river Ganga in Rishikesh. They climbed the mountains of Himalayas where it was very cold. They saw many trees, many kinds of trees on their mountains like oaks, pines and deodars. Very different from the ones near their home on the plains. In yet another trip, they traveled to Rajasthan and moved on camels through the hot desert. They collected different kinds of cactus plants from their trip. From this trip, finally, they went on a trip to Puri and visited the sea beach. Puri Jagannath, it's in uh, Odisha. Okay, it is there, there is a lot of beach, so they visited the beach also. Then, dotted with Kasurian trees. While recollecting all the fun they had, they, they had on the, these trips, a thought stuck them. All these places were so different from one another. Some were cold, some were hot and dry, and some places so humid. Humid means the water content in the atmosphere. And yet, all of them had many organisms of various kinds. Organisms means living creatures any kind of living creature is called an organism even if it is a single cell amoeba amoeba or a multicellular human being or different animals okay all of them come under the category of organisms they try to think on they try to think of places on earth where there uh, may uh, may not be any living creatures bojo thought of places near his home inside the house he tried the cupboards he had thought that there may not be any living organisms here but he found one tiny spider in the cupboard outside the home too there did not seem to be any place he could think of that did not have living creatures of some kind or the other Paheli started thinking and reading about the far away places. She read that people have even found tiny living organisms in the openings of the volcanoes. Volcanoes means this is the hottest places, right? Um, in the opening of the volcano, it will be very hot. But she has read that uh, tiny living organisms can live in the volcanoes also. Organisms and the surroundings where they live. Another thought that occurred to Paheli and Bhojo was about the kind of living organisms that were present in different locations that they had visited. The deserts had, the deserts had camels, the mountains had goats and yak, Puri had some other creatures like crabs on the beach and such a variety of fish being caught by the fishermen at the sea. And then there did seem to be some creatures like ants that were present in all of these locations. The kind of plants found in each of these regions were so different from the plants of the other surroundings. What about the surroundings in different regions? Were they the same? Now, there is one activity, one in page number 80. Okay, we'll try to do it and write as much as possible. Okay, let us start with the forest. This, uh, the columns and rows that is given on your screen is in your textbook only. It's from page number 80. Let us start with the forest. Think of all the plants and uh, plants, animals and objects that can be found there. List them in column 
one of the table nine point one. This is the table nine point one. List things animals and plants found in other regions that are shown in the table. That is on mountains, in the deserts, in the sea, any other. Discuss also with your friends, parents, and teachers to find more examples to fill the table. You can also consult. many interesting books in libraries that talk of animals plants and minerals of different regions try and include many plants and animals and objects big and small in each of the columns in this table what kind of objects will we find that may not be in animals or plants perhaps pla parts of plants have dried leaves or plant parts of animals like bones we may, we also find different kinds of soils and pebbles water in the oceans may have salt dissolved in it okay which was discussed already in chapter 5 there could be many more objects as we go through the chapter keep adding more examples to page number uh, to the table 9.1 we will discuss the table as we travel through many more interesting places i hope you will remember this table okay now habitat and adaptations What do you find from the plants and animals listed in activity one? As I told you, if you refer the previous page, you will get some examples to write in this table. Okay, as you go through the lesson, also you can write the examples in the table. But just with the example from the first one, from the first page, did you find a large variety of them? Look at what you have entered in the column for the deserts and the column for the sea. Did you list very different kinds of organism in these two columns? Of course, right? Now, a camel and a fish, as you can see in the screen, camel lives in desert and fish lives in water. You think fish can live in the desert? No. Can uh, live a uh, camel live inside the salty water? No. So they are uh, they are adapted to their own conditions or their own environment. Adaptations means making changes in ourselves to uh, help us live better. Okay, that is called adaptations. What are the surroundings like in these two regions? In the sea, plants and animals are surrounded by saline water. Saline water means salty water. okay most of them use the air dissolved in the water there is a very little water available in the desert it is very hot in the daytime and very cold at the night in the desert the animals and plants of the desert live on the desert soil and breathe the air from the surroundings the sea and the deserts are very different surroundings and we find very different kinds of plants and animals in these two regions isn't it let us look at two different organ uh, different kind of organisms from the desert and the sea a camel and a fish the body structure of a camel helps it to survive in the desert conditions camels have long legs which help it to keep their body away from the heat of the sun they excrete small amount of urine they uh, their dung is dry and they do not sweat since camel lose very little water from their body they can live for many days without water look uh, let us look at the different kinds of fishes some of these are shown uh, in the picture in your textbook in page number 81 in the figure 9.3 There are so many kinds of fishes but do you see that there have something common about their shape here different kinds of fishes there is something common about their shapes all the ones shown here have streamline shaped that we discussed in chapter 8 this shape helps them to move inside the water as we saw the movement of the fish how they move isn't it uh, we discussed in chapter 8 that fish have flat fins and tails that help them to change directions and keep their body balanced in water gills present in the fish help them to use oxygen dissolved in the water we can see that the feature of the fish help to help it to live inside the water and the features of a camel help it to survive in a desert we have taken only two examples from the wide variety of animals and plants that live on the earth in all of these varieties of organisms we will find that there have certain features that help them live in surroundings in which they are normally found
Presence of specific features or certain habits which enable an organism to live naturally in a place is called adaptation. Adaptation means the definition is on your screen. The presence of specific features or certain habits which enable an organism to live naturally in a place is called adaptations adaptations of organism differ depending on their places of dwellings dwelling means the place where they live okay that is why a fish cannot live out of the water and a camel cannot live in the sea next is habitats the place where organisms live is called a habitat the place where any organism naturally lives is called its habitat habitat means dwelling place a home the habitat provides food water air shelter and other needs of organisms several kinds of plants and animals live in the same habitat the plants and animals that live on land now there are two types of habitat that is terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitats first terrestrial habitats terrestrial habitats means the plants and animals that live on land are said uh, to are said to live in the terrestrial habitats some examples of terrestrial habitats are forest grasslands deserts rainforest mountain regions etc on the other hand the habitats of the plant animals that live in the water the habitat of the plants and animals that live in water are called aquatic habitats lakes rivers and oceans are some examples of aquatic habitat there are large variations among the terrestrial habitats like forests grasslands deserts coastals and mountain regions located in different part of the world now all the part of the world will have two components okay two components of the nature two components of the environment the organism both plants and animals living in an habitat are its biotic components biotic means biologically it is alive the organisms both plants and animals living in an habitat are called its biotic components the non living things such as the rock soil air and water in the habitat constitutes its abiotic component are sunlight and heat abiotic or abiotic component it is a abiotic component so i will stop the lesson till here from the next activity 2 and the other part of the lesson we will cover it in the next chapter now you i hope you understood what is abiotic and biotic components aquatic habitats terrestrial habitats and what is a habitat and what is adaptation stay at home stay safe take care of yourself keep learning children i request you to read the textbook at least one page every day thank you